Hello guys, what's up? It's Asif here again. So, today we will be discussing about the new upcoming camera which will be called after the Canon EOS R7. It can be called the Canon RF R7. I prefer the next name, the second name because it will be a RF mount camera but it will be a APS-C camera also. Don't confuse this camera with the Canon EOS EF-M mount because there are some cameras like the Canon EOS M6 Mark II, Canon EOS M50, Canon EOS M50 Mark II, Canon EOS M200, Canon EOS M100. They are also APS-C cameras and also mirrorless cameras in the Canon system. But this is a different camera, different mount system. It will be the same mount system with the Canon EOS RA full frame bodies. So in this camera we will have a 32.1 megapixel APS-C crop size sensor this camera can be able to shoot at 10 fps of continuous shooting at raw and there will be a 100 plus of buffer size of that raw also on the video part we will be having a 4k up to 60p capability in this video there will be no 120 fps at 4k i think that cannot be possible because it is a normal camera not the high enthusiast level of videographic camera and we are getting a 120 fps slow motion at 1080p there is no 240 fps slow motion at 1080p i think it should be nice or it can be nice if we got the 240 fps slow motion at 120p at 1080p because the fujifilm xs10 is already giving us that but we should be happy with the 120p slow motion at full HD. So that's all basically about this particular camera. Now what is unique about this particular camera? You have to understand that it is a normal camera just uh, releasing in the first quarter of 2021. But there are some interesting thing on it. Because if you notice Canon and Nikon. For the past uh, four to five months, you should notice that they are gearing up to the mirrorless world from the DSLR world. So, in the Canon system, if you look closely, then earlier when there are no mirrorless system like the Canon EOS R5, R6, we are having the Canon EOS 70D, Canon EOS 90D, Canon EOS 6D, sorry, Canon EOS 70 Mark II. Canon EOS 800D, 850D, 200D, 250D, 200D Mark II. Those are the APS-C level of cameras for the DSLR system. And we also have the Canon 60 Mark II, Canon 5D Mark IV, 5DS, 5DSR, and the 1DX Mark III for the full frame bodies of the DSLR. So they already replaced the full frame bodies with the Canon EOS R, Canon EOS R8, Canon EOS R5 and Canon EOS R6. And this time they will replace the APS-C camera also. And those APS-C cameras will be this camera which I am talking here in this video will have a 32.1 megapixel sensor and there are some news that Canon is testing two particularly other cameras also one will be having a 20 megapixel sensor and one will be having a 45 megapixel sensor now the 20 megapixel sensor will replace the DSLR camera of Canon 7D Mark II that will be a wildlife and sports oriented camera and should have a buffer rate of 15 or 16 fps so that will be great and the 45 megapixel camera should targeted to the landscape guy to the studio guy who need lots of lots of megapixel in their photos but I don't think so that over 24 megapixel is a good thing because the file size is huge but you sh can have a craze that your raw file should get over 100 megapixel you should get great details in the shadow in the highlights so it will be your thing but i am not interested in that thing 
I am happy with the 24 megapixel I have in my Fujifilm and that is just great what I am using at this point and it is great and if you want to check my photograph I am putting the link of my Instagram account in the description below go there and take a look I think you will have a nice time by seeing this so in the wrap up we can say that canon will release three new consecutive cameras on the first time they will provide a 32.1 megapixel camera then a 20 megapixel then a 45 megapixel rf mount aps-c cameras and by that time when they put all this camera on the store the aps-c lineup also will be completed now one thing will be left for the canon and that thing is a uh, speedy wildlife and sports oriented photography camera for the full frame because we are getting the Canon 1DX Mark III which offer a 20 fps continuous shooting on the DSLR mode but there are no replacer of that particular camera in the Canon RF mount we have the RF5, RF6 but they are not oriented for the wildlife and sports photographers so i think there will be a camera like the canon yes r9 r10 i don't know or maybe r4 r3 i don't know what will be the name of that particular camera but in the year of 2021 we will see that particular camera also so first of all we will get these three cameras in the first three quarter of 2021 and then we will also get that particular camera also so that's all guys I have to say in this video and I am not showing myself because I record this video on my camera but I don't know why on that particular video there is no sound so I need to record the sound on the phone and then edit this video so pardon me if you can't I am giving you the surety that from the next video you will see me again. So that's all guys and lastly if you have any question regarding photography, videography, photographic gear, videographic gear or even you need some particulars regarding photography then please feel free to ask me in the comment section below. I will love to discuss them, love to answer them as quick as possible. For now goodbye guys have a nice day. See you in the next video.